And this is the M class. Uh, so th these are the Tamiya mini chassis. Uh, they're actually really nice. I like the scale. Now, uh, the first two and the last car, those are M07s. Uh, my car is the only M08. Now, the M07s, so the, if you think of the 05, 07, those are front wheel drive. So that would be the odd number. The even numbers, such as the 06 and 08, those are rear wheel drive. Now, the difference is the 06 has a rear motor. Uh, 08, the one I'm driving, has a mid motor. Now, these cars are actually really fun. Now, one of the issues that I'm having, as you can see, is uh, yeah, there isn't much traction. Uh, so, for low traction surfaces, such as the surface that we're running, uh, this car is really rear end happy. It really oversteers like you wouldn't believe. Uh, when taking the turns, pretty much every single time I lose control and I spin out, it's because I give it a little too much throttle. It really does not like torque uh, or power. So, so those turns, if you see those smooth turns that I took there, uh, I was just rolling into the turns. I wasn't even accelerating. I just let off the accelerator and rolled. Uh, if I try applying the brake, I'm going to spin out. If I accelerate too hard, see I just passed somebody, uh, if I accelerate uh, too hard, I will spin out. So I just have to roll into the turns just like that, and then it gets really, really smooth. So the M08, to be honest, it takes, in my opinion, a lot more skill, a lot more throttle control, which is one of the reasons why I'm considering driving this vehicle uh, just for fun, but really, I think just around the house, just to get used to the throttle learn how to control the throttle. For racing, I'll probably consider an M07 at some point, simply because the M07s are easier to drive, especially on these lower traction surfaces, as, well, uh, you can see. So if you look at some of the other cars, uh, you will see them. Now, uh, one of my buddies, I mean, those guys are my buddies. You just saw one of them. Uh, and there's the other one. So. Uh, that one right there. Uh, his car is this yellow one right over here. Well, you can't see him anymore, but it's the yellow. Not the highlighter yellow, but the regular yellow. Uh, if you've watched my VTA video of the same exact day, we had some pretty good battles. Uh, I mean, we were head-to-head. Uh, -head. Now, I did make some mistakes, so we did eventually lap me, but whenever we were competing for that lap, uh, or you know, trying to pass each other, he would pass me, I would pass him back and forth. It was actually one of the funny, funnest races that we have had. Uh, so, long story short, skill, uh, we're pretty close. Uh, I usually let him win, that's why, right? That, that, that's my story, that, and I'm sticking to it. But in this case, it... There's a, I would say, a pretty big difference between the M08 and the M07. Again, they're both great, but if you're going to be on uh, low traction surfaces, consider the front wheel drive, the M07. That way the front wheels will just pull your car, versus this one, it pushes a lot. That's something to keep in mind. But still a very fun class. Uh, the vehicle itself doesn't cost very much, and then you need a motor. Now, we're all running 21.5 motors, or at least that's my understanding. I hope so. And I'm just running a hobby wing just stock ESC, which I had to mount up high because it wouldn't fit in the little slot. Uh, so if you want to fit in the little slot, get the Timia. Now I hit my buddy right there, but he's in the white car. Uh, I was lapping him, so we just continued on. Uh, what ended up happening is he shifted a little, and then I just continued on my course. I didn't try avoiding him. I just kept going. I know he's going to watch the video. I know you're watching the video. Uh, and he's probably going to laugh too because it was actually a pretty fun crash. Uh, but I hope his servo is doing better next time. Uh, he, he was having some issues with the servo. Uh, but get out there and race. Uh, this Tamiya car, again, not very expensive. The nice thing about it is a kit, so you get to build it yourself and then go out and race. 
And the most important thing is to honestly just go out there and have fun. And this is one class that you can use to have fun without really breaking the bank. And the race is almost over. I think I'm just going to do some donuts uh, just for fun. Not really a victory lap, not really a victory donut. It's just donuts because it's rear wheel drive and the rear end, you, you lose the rear end so easily. Uh, so again, here I go. I'm just rolling into the turns. I can't brake, can't accelerate uh, too hard or else I'll spin out. But this is it. That was the end of the race. I was hoping I could lap my buddy there. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.